Hey, hope well. Hola. We have an interesting show for you guys today. As all of you know, there has been a lot of damage to our wonderful state in these last couple weeks. Yeah, we have some students talking about how Hurricane Sandy affected them. Let's check it out. See one of those boards like that before we get started? Action. Uh, how many days were you without power during Hurricane Sandy? A lot. I couldn't straighten my hair. I have Jersey Central Power and Light, so I don't expect power till Christmas. About 18 hours. I was without power for um, a whole week, and I had no lights, and that's why I got a little beard going. Finally got power last night about 4 o'clock, thanks to a very nice little group of guys from South Carolina. I was only out for four hours. What did you do on your week off? Reluctantly cleaned my room. Slept a lot. Was there any positive about Hurricane Sandy? The nothing. It sucked. <laughs> Wow, I can't even imagine how life must have been for the citizens down the shore. Yeah, my family is lucky we have a generator, but it's been very difficult with the snow and the cold at night. We're just lucky it wasn't worse. Hopewell would like to send our best to the families who have been affected. On a lighter note, we have three colleges visiting on Thursday. Towson University at 845, New Jersey City University at 945, and Alvernia University at 11. Get a pass in the guidance office or sign up on Family Connection if you wish to attend. Girls Varsity Soccer played Neptune in their first state game last Tuesday, and Owen Salmon recorded some video of the game. This game was played with no practice leading up to it, due to Sandy. The girls were eager to win and pulled through. This was the most exciting game of the season. Assistant Coach Loretti wants to congratulate the team on their great teamwork and leadership. The girls won two to nothing. The girls move on to play Ocean City in their next round in the state tournament. It's today at 2. Great job, girls, and good luck with the rest of your season. Be sure to see the fall play our town this Thursday and Friday at 7.30 p.m. Tickets are $5 for students and senior citizens and $10 for adults. They can be purchased online at showticks4u.com. Come out and see what it's all about. The football team had a game that Diana Fass filmed this Saturday. The Bulldogs lost a heartbreaker to Nottingham in their first playoff game, 38-6, with the refs being quite in Nottingham's favor. Mark Winner scored Hopewell's only touchdown. You'll get him next time, boys. <laughs> Can I actually speak like that? Have a good week, Hopewell, and hope to see you on Friday or Saturday. Or Monday or Tuesday. Or Wednesday. Bye.